Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to today's video. For those of you who are new, this may be your first time coming across one of my videos. You're probably not yet subscribed. Welcome, my name is Tyler with an O, and for those of you who are already my people, already subscribed, and are just joining and returning for another video, welcome on back, and um, let's go ahead and get into it. So today's video is going to be a little bit different than my normal chit-chat, get ready with me, makeup tutorial videos. Basically, I initially just sat down because I wanted to play in makeup. I just wanted to, you know, just sit down practice some eyeshadow, let my creative juices flow. I didn't even necessarily film, plan on filming a video. I just really wanted to sit down and play in some makeup. So, with that being said, this video is gonna be a little bit backwards. I am starting with just eyes, as you're about to see here very shortly, and then we end up getting to this. So, if you'd like to see how we put together this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Well, this is close, we're rather Intimates. I'm pretty sure I already addressed it in the intro, but um, yeah, I have. I'm starting with eyes. It's different. Um, I just really wanted to like practice some makeup and like just play in makeup for a little bit. I really wanted to practice like an eyeshadow look or something. So that's why I'm only working on the eyes. If this ends up coming out like amazing, then I'll just go ahead and do the rest of the face as well. But this is just a primarily focus on the eyes. I'm gonna be using my uh, crayon case uh, matte book palette, just so I don't have to say it a bunch of times. Every shadow that you're gonna see that I know of is gonna be from this palette. I really don't know where, what I wanna do. I'm kinda like have like an image in my head, not necessarily even of a look, but more so of like a shape or concept that I wanna go with for this eyeshadow. But I'm kinda thinking like I wanna go more for like a rounded outer eye and then like smoke that out into like a different color or something. Um, instead of like, you know, doing like a cat shape or something, I kinda want it to be a lot more round um, on the outside. So that's kinda what I'm doing now. And because I'm gonna smoke it out, I'm not bringing it, the color all the way to the end of my eye. I'm gonna kinda bring it inside some. I think on the outside of this, I'm going to go green and see what that gives. Well, that green really did the damn thing, but like kind of did it a little too much. It almost took over our blue. I got to go back and add some more blue to the mix so she don't get lost in the sauce. Y'all see how vivid that goes on? That is crazy. And then on the outside of that, I think I'm just going to now just kind of like blow out that green with like some lime green. See what that does. Oh wow, that is brighter than expected. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the rest of that off of the brush because I didn't need that much. Sorry y'all, this most likely is not gonna be like the most, you know, funny or entertaining video, but this is just more like a, a relaxing little makeup therapy session. I'm just in my head about a lot right now, so excuse me if I'm not doing much talking, but I hope you guys can just like, you know, appreciate seeing the development of this makeup, like, you know, of, I hope you guys just enjoy watching art being made. But so far, this is looking kind of cute. I think I'm gonna start moving that blue just uh, a little bit outwards because it looks like the blue is in the middle of my eye, which is not what I wanted. So I'm just gonna start moving the blue to the outside. And then with my brush that I did the lime green with, I'll just use that in circular motions to make sure it's blended out there. Honestly, this would be cute if I did like a silver cut crease moment. Oh my gosh, should I do that? Silver? Honestly, I wanted to do something like more bright and colorful, but I feel like silver isn't colorful, you know? It's it's silver. Um, I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road. Hmm, I think what I'm gonna do, I think I have an idea. Hopefully this works out. But I'm gonna take this dark blue all the way into my inner corner here. What do we call like, 
like you know in fashion if you're talking about like a design then you'll say like this silhouette because of the way like it frames the body I don't know I like I want to say that about this in terms of like the makeup but it, I know it's not a silhouette but I don't know what it's called like I've never done this silhouette before but it's not a silhouette like this technique I guess this shape with bringing the outer corner to the inner corner like that hopefully I'm making something masterful and not looking crazy Ooh, and then I want to blur out these edges all the way with the green Wow, that's crazy. I only dipped into the green once and it really just like went along the whole eye. Like I didn't even really need to do much. That that was okay, cool. And I'm gonna get my fluffy brush and go back with that lime green and just start to buff that out. Okay, so that's different I don't exactly know where we're going with this but I want this a little bit brighter I'm gonna take the same brush that I was using for the lime green and I'm going to go into the yellow and start to blend that out even further uh, I wish it would show up a little more on camera but can you see the difference that the yellow added that's not over here like this is still cute but look how it just yeah, man, layering shadows really makes such a big difference. I'm going to take my um, Fenty Beauty uh, Diamond Ball Out highlighter thing, and I'm going to place that in the middle little circle. And I'm only putting that like in the inner middle part of the eye, not over the whole lid or anything. Yeah, this stuff is so gorgeous. Like, this is the most impressive shimmer, like, I've ever seen or handled. It's just so bright and so, like, it, it's just so, it's so, like, I don't even know how else to describe it. It just is so, it's so. I am feeling the look. And because I'm feeling the look, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the face and then we shall be back to complete this look. Okay, so went ahead and put the rest of the face on. Didn't feel like doing my hair, so you know, I just went ahead and wrapped her up with a turban. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and continue, move on to the bottom part of the eyes. So back into the matte book palette, I'm gonna go back with the dark blue that we use like on the outer little thing and I'm gonna put that on the bottom lash line and then I'm gonna go in with like that um, mid-tone green shade that we used up at the top and I'm gonna put that just on the outer half of the bottom lash line and that green I'm actually gonna bring out and connect with the top and then lastly I'm gonna go into the lime green and basically do the same thing but just a little bit lower essentially i'm just trying to copy like the gradient that we have right here down below and you know what we added that yellow up there too so i'm gonna add the yellow down there i feel like that played a big part in the gradient and making that green pop as much as it did I do need to highlight my brow bone. For that, I'm just gonna go into my box of crayon palettes again, and I'm gonna go into this white shade here, just because I want something complementary to the lid, that silver on the lid, but I don't want it to be like silver. So I feel like this white is nice and bright and reflective. This is actually my first time using this as like a highlighter, and I actually like it a lot. I should have used this on the rest of my face to highlight as well. It's so like, ooh, that is pretty. Let me just uh, go on with a little highlighter brush. Give me some of that on this little brush. And dab that on. Just to brighten things up. Because that is cute. Mm -hmm. Oh 
yeah, we like her. Ooh, ooh, can't tell me nothing. You know what, for the shape, since it's a very round eye, I'm not gonna put a wing, cause that's gonna add a different shape to everything, so I am just gonna go in with the lash. The lashes I'm gonna use are by this brand called Eiffel Lash, and these are in the style 605. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw on my lashes, and then we'll be right back to throw on a lip and serve the look. For the lip liner, I'm gonna go in with one of the NYX Matte Suede Lip Liners. Um, this is in the shade Brooklyn Thorn. And then I'm gonna go in with the NYX Liquid Lipstick. This is the, oops, NYX Lingerie, and it's in the shade Honeymoon. And I don't know if I've even used this before. Do we like, like, the dark gray lip? I mean, I just wanted to get away from doing, like, my normal nude. But honestly, because this is so like bright and colorful, I kind of feel like a nude would have gave it that nice like springtime colorful effect. With the dark lip, I kind of feel like it just took it in a whole different direction. I don't know, it doesn't look bad, but I'm also not like loving it. I'm not buying it. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and then I'm gonna throw on something nude. Okay, see yeah, even just taking that off and having my lip look brighter naturally looks a lot better. I'm gonna go in with my coffee lip liner from the crayon case. This is now my new favorite lip liner. I just love the color and everything about it. Okay, so that's coffee. And then in the middle, I think I'm not gonna go matte. I'll just go in with my favorite lipstick, Truffle Tease by Maybelline. Okay, now that is more like it. All right, the look is served. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was just a little bit backwards with the way I was doing things, but again, I just went into it for just just to do a little bit of makeup therapy, you know? I, wanted, I really wish I could have just sat here with my music playing and not really said anything and just like vibed and let my creative juices flow. But you know, it's always nice chatting with you guys. Well, we didn't really do much chatting, but you know what I'm saying. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you're enjoying the look, comment down below on what you would like to see here on this channel. And more importantly, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more of this Tyler with the no goodness. And I will catch you all on my next video. Peace. It was a stormy night. You know the type where the lightning strikes. And I was hanging out with some of my artsy friends. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, turban. I really like wearing a turban. Like, I like this look. At the time, I don't even want to take my little scarf off or that I wrap my hair with. So instead of going places with a scarf, I'll just get a piece of fabric, you know, and make me a little turban. I don't see nothing wrong with it.